Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing Train Simulator 2017. I mean 2018. Wow, can you believe it? Okay, so we will be... Our power will be the ALP 45DP. We'll be on the North Jersey coastline for New Jersey Transit. And we're going to do the first scenario. We're going to do the Hoboken scenario. It's not too long, only 15 minutes. Pretty easy. Okay. Let's get this started. Now this is pretty much what this channel will be about. Simulator games. Simulator games like X-Plane 10, Train Simulator 2018, Train Sim World, as well as OMSI Bus Sim 2, and Open BVE. I just heard about these today from a good friend of mine. And with the Bus Sim 2, it'll be New Jersey Transit, of course. Okay, here we are in Hoboken. Good afternoon, engineers. Starting here at Hoboken, this scenario will take you straight through to Newark Penn on the first part of a run down to Bayhead. That should be fun, and very long. Before you start off, open the doors and allow the passengers to board. Easy enough. I've had some experience in Train Simulator. I've been playing for about six months now. Finally decided to make videos of it. Now this will also be learning for you guys as well. Um, so yes, that's pretty much what this channel is going to be. Doing different scenarios, different lines as we progress through here. Different simulators. Okay. Let's wait for everybody to board. Let's come out here and check out the wonderful Hoboken station. Very nice. Very real, too. I've been here before. I I live one train ride from it on the Pascac Valley. Okay. Now, let's get started. Let's pop the bell on. Forward. Alright. Let's start off in a speed restriction of only 15. How excited. We'll be 
passing through the original Morris and Essex Railroad Tunnel under Bergen Hill, built in 1876. The parallel tunnel to the left was built by Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad in 1908. It's to show you our infrastructure is old, but held, it's being held up very nicely. video I'll go over some of the controls so if you're gonna play this game you have a good idea now W and S is your reversal if you press S it'll put it into neutral you press it again it goes into reverse W is the other way A is your throttle it'll bring up so I've just pressed A I'm getting some power now bring it down off and then if you press D and go below off on the ALP 45 TP you're going to the dynamic braking which basically puts amperage into the traction motors to put resistance on the axle to slow the train down without using brakes which helps to prolong the life of the brake pads but it will not stop the train bring it down to about 2-3 miles an hour and then better use brakes the rest of the way. Okay, so that's that. Q is the acknowledge button, which that beep 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 that you hear is ATC. It's the safety system that New Jersey Transit has. So turn that on to control DNF. You know, just as a little added bonus to the game. You have 8 seconds to press Q. After 8 seconds, a, it'll automatically apply the emergency brake, which you can imagine isn't good for these points. So you've got to be very vigilant in this game. Okay, so... The auto brakes. The colon and apostrophe buttons right next to enter. The auto brake. If I press the one closest to enter, which is the apostrophe, it put the brakes on. And the one next to the apostrophe is the release. I don't know the term for it. I always forget. We have slash that's next to shift. That is the handbrake. What else is there? Y is the mode change electric to diesel. P is the pantograph. It's, uh, I'll show you what it is. It's this right here. That brings the electricity from the overhead lines down into the local mode of here. It's pretty much basic. Space is the best part. It's the horn. Who doesn't love that horn? B is the bell. is the wipers. Now what X does. I don't want to do that way. I don't want to mess this up. But I know shift. Shift Z is the frame rates. Which I'm doing pretty well. I have 25 frames. And again it's Excuse the background noise if there is any. My chair isn't the best. Every time I move it makes a noise. Alrighty. Now that we're at 60 miles and uh, the speed limit is 60. And I'll speed up to 60 miles an hour as we head towards the Kearney, Kearney Yard. speed it's pretty easy just go down to off the off position of the throttle or one and as you need more power you put it to two if you're going uphill just depends on what you're pulling and what's the terrain
CSX South Kearney Yard is on the left, and you will shortly be by the brakes. Heading on to the waterfront connection, this track was opened in 1991 to allow trains to pass from the original Pennsylvania Railroad to the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad lines from Hoboken. Okay. Oh good, I read that fast. I already tried to record this once and I couldn't read any of the prompts. I was too busy with the controls. Thank you. 
go with the dynamic braking. Now watch, as we approach 5 miles an hour, you'll hear the traction motor stop making that noise. Two miles an hour can't support dynamic braking anymore. So that's when you put on the brakes. Done. Alright, since this is our last stop, I just want to say, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. It's good to hear from you guys. And if any of you have any railroad rules that I might have broken, just let me know. I'll also be doing some videos in the Comet 5 and Comet 4 cab cars, which will be very fun. Let's go check out Newark while we're waiting. Oops. Look at that. Looks very nice. Looks a lot like Newark. They're missing a few buildings, but it's pretty good. Alright, let's see how I did. 884. That's not bad at all. <sighs> okay. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.